Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with part 4 of the Persian campaign for the New World mod for Rome 2 Total War. And in the last part we did take the Kartli settlement up here for ourselves, for the Persian Empire. And uh, yeah, we, we kind of made it like a sort of a northern expedition because we kind of stood off by the Armenians. But it won't be for long because I mean, even though we have a trade deal with them, I plan to attack them very soon. But first, where there is a bit of rumbling in the east. And we have the Bactrians over here that have taken out, um, well, some of the Seleucid uh, vassals. And we go to kind of investigate, see where their armies are. And I'm sending an army back currently to deal with the incursion. We have the first men that are going to be returning. They should make it like a fair way through the uh, empire and we should be able to get to the front line in no time at all. It looks like it's going to take probably one, two, three, four turns to get to the frontier. And then it'll take a couple more to uh, just basically get to BAM, which we should be able to take as long as, well, Bactria is not waiting for us. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign so far. If you have been, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment. Thank you for all the subs and the comments uh, and such like recently. Let's keep it up and let's try and get to 2,000 subs. But anyway, let's get on with the uh, actual episode now that we've got through that. Um, but yeah, I think since we've done everything at the end of last turn, and we've not really got anything else to buy, and we're still waiting on tech to finish, uh, which we're getting foreign customs, uh, I'm going to just end the turn, and we're going to see what happens. So uh, we'll see what occurs at the end of this turn. I mean, I don't think too much. Bactria has sent an army down to Pura, and is besieging there, so they are getting close to our front lines. So we do need to be careful. So we might need to strike back soon. And build, maybe build a small garrison army before the uh, main army arrives back in our lands. Carly also looked like it sent the army back towards us. Foreign ground, uh, foreign custom, sorry, is done. Uh, apparent fleet has, is raiding off the shores of Athens by the looks of it. Uh, and I'm just going to carry on sending this guy all the way down to Bam, down there. And, uh, yep, Cartley has declared war on Cimmeria, so that's never a good sign for Cartley that have got no settlements, I'm pretty sure. Or if they have, yeah, they've got nothing, and they're declaring war on someone that's got a fair amount. This region's now called Amazonia, I didn't even realise. That's, I mean, I'm glad that they're changing the map, altering it ever so slightly, but they need to, uh, maybe do a little bit more. But I'm going to keep the spy over here. Now I'm going to keep an eye on Armenia. And wow, my economy took an absolute, like, the destruction. What did I do? Did I buy anything? Bought a load of, like, Takabara, but not, like, anything impressive or expensive. I mean, uh, I've got some um, expensive units, but not that many. And I just did um, that. No, which one did I do? I did that one, 3% tax, which is kind of strange. And then temple tax gives me no tax, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Don't know what to think of that. Uh, and then I'm going to build... Hmm. Could do some more military stuff. Naval yard, marine barracks. Don't really have any need for that. I might go for the uh, supply... Ammunition supply chain so we can get exotic animal studs. So we can start going down like the camel and elephant route. If we wanted to. Uh, and I think... Probably my actually my economy is probably taking a massive hit. Because Pure is under siege. I have a feeling that might be the case. I mean Harmozi is actually still in the way. So that's okay. But yeah, we need to kind of worry about the Bactrians. They're on our doorstep now. And I'm going to end the turn again. Uh, my spy is just busying himself in BAM. Having a look, see what's going on. It's the only one I need to kind of worry about at the moment. Hopefully, uh, I forgot what they're called now. Drang Drangania. Uh, basically come back and save Pura because I don't really want them taking that just yet. Not at all. And here comes Carly. They're going to attack. Oh, they're setting up like stacks all over the place. Yeah, look at this. What is this suicide assault that they're doing here? This is Suicide Squad Rome 2 edition. And they and they failed. Uh, we'll release them. Gets us the most money. There's no one to release though. It's just seven heads. And then pirates now off the... Off uh, North Africa as well by the looks of it. I think Krien. Is that? I don't know. That might be the wrong one. Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, we'll uh, carry on sending this guy south. And now Gazaka can do something here. I don't know what I really want to put in here. 
Probably could do with like uh, my maybe Royal Sanctuary. Could do Tower of Silence. I think we're gonna go with Royal Sanctuary. I mean, it's damaging the old food stakes, but we can uh, build another food place here in Bam. I mean, they've currently got like other stuff being built, but we can do we can give, replace it. They've got flangites. Oh, they got pikes. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Uh, okay, right. Well, well, we'll get around that issue. And it looks like Parthavia is coming back. Oh, they took Pura. Not good. Not good. I mean, they do hold uh, this settlement over here still. I mean, it's kind of interesting to see, like, how this is kind of spreading. I mean, you got... Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so like, the elephant people are quite strong. They held, like, quite a lot of Arcturus. Yeah, and they're taking the water back tree up here. Uh, it be interesting to see. I've just got to sneak in and take some settlements for myself. And do the damage, basically. Uh, first men. Yeah, I'm not really too fussed about you building anything else. Let's have a look and see if we can build anything here. We can. Uh, I'd like to build. Mm, I could build something like growth paternal well would be pretty useful. I mean, this is pretty well garrisoned. I mean, it will be anyway once uh, they uh, stop starving. Or well, not stop starving, start replenishing. Uh, this guy's starving. Yeah, he's probably going to have a hard time taking any of this. Oh my gosh. Olbia. Oh, this is going to be the first sign of the Amazonian separatists are here. I wonder whether the Amazon's actually already dead. That'll be kind of funny if they are. Um, looks like Armenia is pretty much open to like just take out. I will do it soon. Like I said, just want to deal with Bactria first. So again, I don't think I can really build anything. I mean, I could build this at Susa, but this takes like us into the food like pretty poorly. I mean, that does actually put us up one in public order. What's the happiness here? I mean, it's plus 11 currently. Minus 3. I think we can afford it. Yeah, we'll take the hit. I kind of want the f more food. And then, um, yeah, not really else, much else I can buy. I've built kind of everything. Oh, we got something to do. Cirrus has got an upgrade. Cirrus the Great has an upgrade. Let's give him Logistics, so he has replenishment. We want him being nice and making his army nice and healthy when it gets massacred, probably because half my army is made up of literal peasants. Oh, here we go. Bactria has arrived. Wow, they have some large armies. And they've all got lions on their head. Right, well, I'm going to defend Raga, it would be seen, look like. And then from there, I mean, everything else is kind of just. Help by cities, so we should be okay. Oh, look at that. Carly has a huge army on our border. I will deal with that as well. Right. Here we go. So, <laughs> now the plunge begins, really. Uh, they can go for Susa. Okay. They could go for Susa. I need to kind of just stay. But the likelihood is they'll go for Raga. So, I guess... How far can I reach? I can reach quite a way. I'm going to defend Raga for now. They may just turn around and go nah. Because, I mean, they're at war with these guys here, I'm pretty sure. At least I hope they are. Yeah, they are. So, I mean, they've got plenty of targets around them. Whether they'll go for them, I don't know. Uh, I could raise another army. Just put in some rubbish. I am debating it. I am also just debating bringing down the second army. Because this could be useful. Ah, uh, here we go. An ambush. This is going to be like a massacre. 96%. And there you go. That's a Cartley army dead. Easy work. 966 wealth back. I'll take that as well. And then uh, the army here can get upgraded. Uh, we'll put in campaign movement range. I think we're going to need that when we have to like start marching across our entire empire just to come and help against Bactria. But I think Susa is pretty well defended. I don't know if it could stop all this though. Ah, I could have attacked one. I could attack one of these. I could have attacked one of these. No, I couldn't actually. They're out of range. But we'll see what they do at the end of this turn, I guess. I'm just hoping that Seleucid can just break away. Pirates are here. Right, they're just at war with... Did they just decide to declare war on us? I don't know. They're just at war with a lot of people. Um, I kind of want to just break away from the Seleucids. They're really causing a lot of issues right now. Oh, I thought Sagarthia... Are they on the move? Do they have a city? Yeah, they don't have a city. I thought they were literally just like out here just chilling. I was like, wow, that's just kind of mad. Um, 
But yeah, I need to kind of like do some work against Bactria next. Need to kind of kill off one of their armies. Could probably take this one out. Uh, it's got like a lot of pikes, which are kind of going to be useful to just kill. Um, this is a pretty nasty general though. Won't lie, any silver chevron. Jeez, this is a pretty early army as well. So we'll end the turn and we'll pray Bactria does not go uh, further into our empire. No, they retreated. Excellent, excellent. Right, they just didn't like that my army appeared. Um, I'm going to send my spy out. He's going to have a look, see where that army is. And I'm going to carry on my march towards towards Bam. Try and take the war to them. And also then kind of relieves the elephant people. That's what they're just being called. I can't be asked. Don't want to try and butcher the name. Keep calling them Drangania or whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll, force, well, we'll march there. My spy needs... Or not my spy. My uh, assassin needs to come north. Have a look for these guys. Well, he's not even an assassin. He's kind of like a commander or something like that, isn't he? Veteran. That's what they call him. Don't know why I took so long there to struggle with the name. But there you go. Cartley is dead. The well is built. The well is built so we can, I don't know, sustain our place here. So minus one in food. It's okay. Uh, I'd rather go with like something like the wind catcher. Or the canal. I think I'm going to go with a wind catcher. Because it's public order. Well, what's this one? Yeah, I'm definitely going to go with the wind catcher. Go with the wind catcher. And then we need to get some agriculture going on over there. Just so we can like then... We'll do more with the agriculture, but look, you can see the growth going up, like, really quickly. Or is it going up a lot quicker anyway than, uh, say, like, other places? So that's really good. So, well, uh, Caucasia's going to be just a surplus of a people. Excellent. Uh, how many more turns can you reach? It's going to take you three more turns. And that's in the... That's just, like, if nothing goes wrong and we don't get attacked at, like, say, Raga or somewhere else. Um, I guess... Well, let's just have a look at, like, faction, how we're doing on, like, politics. We're looking okay. No s risk of civil war. I mean, these guys are pretty loyal. Um, but they hate barbarians. Well, okay. And, yeah, well, we can always secure their loyalty if needs be. But, I mean, no risk of civil war at the moment. And, yeah, I mean, we're exalted, so it brings down, like, party loyalty. Could I change to, like, an empire at some point? I need to get level 5 Imperium and, that, and then it gets more like party loyalty which I definitely want to. That just to try and stop any rebellions. That kind of nullifies it almost. It looks like Bactria have decided to stay back and uh Fights and their wars elsewhere. I will be interested to see if they've tried to retake P Pura. They've not tried to retake Pura. I'm very disappointed. Uh, household expands. Excellent. Construction of a royal sanctuary. And Sigarthi's at war with the pirates. Well, I mean, that's going to be a. I don't know. An earth shaking development. Assassination. That's all we can do. I'm going to. I guess I'll try, but I'm probably going to get myself wounded yet. Yeah. Look at this mad guy. Absolute idiot. Uh, right, I'm going to move this army up. I don't know where the larger... Not the larger, the other army is. But the Might of Hercules is getting chased down. And if we can catch it... That will be great. If we can't... Not the, not the end of the world. Um, I don't know what I want actually to buy here. I mean, I could build the Quartermaster place. I'm more likely to just get like physical conditioning and try and upgrade my army through here I mean I could carry on like with the old like economy say, uh, like route as well but I mean I'm okay for now Gore is going to give me more food eventually Gazakra I can't really afford to do the royal tombs yet though I I mean actually I'm not too fussed about doing the royal tombs it's not like the end of the world um, and then this region up here is doing just fine as well by the looks of it Eastern is going down though we need to sort that out you need to go and take some more lands out and go and influence them a bit more. End the turn. And let's see whether Bactria attacks. If it does, then we'll do something about it. There you go. Harmosius and another stack. Jeez. These guys have stacks everywhere. I'm going to have to bring the army from the north down. Just, it's going to have to happen. Uh, unless, well, we can just 
I don't know, stop them from invading my lands. But I mean, Bactria is becoming an absolute menace. Rally the horsemen, uh, I guess we'll do. Population surplus in Persia. Uh, let's do it in... I don't know. We could do it in Gore. We might need to. Uh, we'll do it here, yeah. And I'm going to build... I could do more food. I kind of need it. Do need more food and gore. Um, but yeah, look at this. This is an insane like insult being made here. They've got phalangites as well. They could hold this. They could hold this. I'm kind of now going blind in here to see where uh, the enemy army is, but I can't see it, which is kind of concerning. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring the other army down. Our war with like Armenia is gonna have to be held off for now. Uh, I'm gonna just need this army back. Just to like basically come and man the garrisons down here. I mean, it's going to be needed like all the way down here. I mean, that shouldn't arrive. That should arrive pretty soon. Yeah, one, two, three, three about three turns. That's not too bad. We can get, to, we can like deal with three turns. I think they should hold out for another turn. They won't assault. Then, yeah, that should work. I mean, I'm going to try and take on Bam and we'll see what happens there. I could try and lure out the army and assault. Um, whether I'll buy another one, I'm not sure. I mean, I really don't want to have to... I mean, if I can take Harmonousia, that would be great. Spices for myself. I'll take every day of the week. But we are running out of people to trade with. Oh, they actually broke away. Excellent. Harmonousia siege has been broken. Good, good, good. Uh, means we could possibly take... Bam, I'm not really sure. I hope my agent returns, because I could really do with my agent. Uh, go and have a look at like what's happening in Bam again. And Parthavia is still doing this. I mean, I think we still hold the advantage in that fight. I'm not really sure. There we go. Agent recovered. And he is in uh, Parthavia. I'm not... Well, you can have a look. He's uh, in Persepolis. So you should be able to see what's happening in... Bam. Nothing. Excellent. Right. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, I'm just going to try and... Yeah. 69%. That's fine. I don't really want to have to assault this if I don't need to. Excellent. Stabbed up. Dead. Not too many units took too much damage there. And there we go. We've taken this settlement for ourselves. I'm going to... I want to hold on to that. But really, I can't afford to. Um, town Guard, I could hold on to. That helps with tax. And... Um, I mean, it also gives public order. Um, hmm, yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm going to probably destroy this. I'm going to reform that to obviously our standards I'm then gonna I mean we've got um, a chappy, well upgrade here for the army that's what I'm trying to say, not a chappy at all, uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go again with uh, unrelenting force so we have like more movement on the map because that is more useful because we're gonna have to be moving around the empire quite a bit, I have a feeling I'm going to bring the other army back because now Cartley is dealt with in the north. Actually, well, we can't actually afford to. This ar this place here hates us. Um, I'll actually stay in. Might be a big, big mistake, but I'm going to stay here. I will stay here with this army and garrison. I can't really afford to then have a rebellion in the north. Now that I've taken Bam, I'm pretty. But I feel a bit more secure. And that we can like, and so especially since they've fallen back from Harmosia, I think Bactria's fallen back on Pura, and maybe Farada. So I feel a bit more secure in like what we're doing here. And we are slow. If we can cut them off like here, in like Gedrosia and Aria, then they've kind of forced back onto their own original lands. And Parthi is expanding. Are they at war with people? No, not really. Welcome. I can trade with them though. They'll take a trade. I'd like a trade to be honest right now. Uh, I don't see any need to go to war with these people. Not yet, anyway. Parthia will be eventually become uh, part of the Persian Empire. And we will uh, just bring them into our fold. I mean, they're definitely at war with a lot of people of their own. So, I mean, they're kind of occupied as well. And uh, I think I'm going to... Well, look at that. Two grand. Jeez. That's a lot of money. Uh, I could build a new army with that. And I think I might. I think I might. Uh, we'll build it in... I'm going to build it in Susa so it can kind of just 
dash across the border and build some infantry. Which one's probably good, pretty good? House of Gwu, it could be you. I'm going to go with uh, you. Oh my gosh, we have some awesome units as well. We can get Indian Armed Elephants. We can get Persian Side Chariots. We can get Astabara Immortals. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the, with the Horse Archers for now. I don't really want to... Uh, look at that. Scions of Xerxes. Excellent. And I'm just going to get some... I mean, we could get Persian Cavalry. I could. I'm kind of tempted. But I'm going to go with... Actually, yeah. Let's get two of them. And two... Three. Three Takabar, uh, Takabaras. They can, like, hold the line. My cavalry can just smash in. And then we can help these guys go east. And expand. And be excellent. And we'll see what happens. But I'll certainly be under 3,000 by the end... Uh, 2,000, sorry, by the end of this. And there you go. There's... The other Bactrian army that like invaded our lands has returned. He's got a spear, I just realized. He's not even holding his banner. He's like got his I don't think he's like got his spear in his hand and his banner's just floating next to him. But if someone could take that out, if we get path here into this war, that'd be really useful. Um Civil Progress. Uh Let's go with civil development, I think. Physical conditioning's done. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, I kind of want to go with civil progress, I think. I'd like to do... Let's do that one. Let's do a uh, trade language. Helps with uh, wealth from all commerce, and then from like trade agreements as well, like the income. So that'll be really useful. Oh my gosh, so many factions destroyed. Rome's gone! swaby has gone, and Colchis are gone. Who took Colchis out? Oh, Armenia took Colchis out. Well... I mean, he's getting a little stronger in the north there. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm going to build more food. I feel like we need it. More food for the uh, for the markets. And then there you go. We've built this army. Yeah, we're down to 18,000. Uh, I'll build some slingers. I'm just kind of happy they can sort of support my no army in the north. Kind of just needs to stick around there. I might send my spy north going at or like west for a bit. Go and see who's out here. Who's over here? We've got Armenia. Armenia have Trebizos and they have Armas. They're actually really strong in Armenia. It's not that they're not on my border. It's just that they're like are everywhere. So Armenia's going to be a big war. So I mean, good thing I'm trading with them for now I guess. Probably is also why my uh, economy's going through the roof. Pontus is over here. They're at war with people. I, I can't do anything with them. No surprise. Um, so we just won't. <laughs> we'll just won't do anything to them with them then. Uh, yeah, and my next strike is going to be for Pura, I think, or I might go for Farada. Let's have a look. Let's uh, send the spy out. Let's go and see what's a Pura. Or the assassin. Go, you can go and see what's going on here, and then I'll send the army. If there's nothing going on here, I'll come and take it. If there's a lot of stuff going on here, we're off for Farada. But I really need another spy to go that way. And I mean... After this, we're getting, like, really into their lands. I mean, I'm pretty sure Arta Co Coona, like, they start with. So that's going to be one of their original servants. I mean, it is losing happiness. So, who knows? I think this is the fall of Bactria. It shouldn't have been... Oh, no. They took Susia. Maybe they are at war with Parthia. I didn't even realize. Jeez. Um, wow. Well, that's going to damage the economy as well. Because that's a trade. That's a resource we've lost. That's silk, isn't it? Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> um, maybe I'm going for Farada because it looks like uh, the elephant people are going that direction. Parthia, yep. Trade agreement just dissolved, so that's all my economy sort of gone. Who got destroyed? Sagathia is destroyed and Mesogatea are destroyed. Okay. I'm going to start the advance east already. I'm not, I'm not even waiting. I will take Farada for myself. Uh, you can just keep an eye on Pura. Anything going on here? Yes, a stack and a half. Positive outcome, 46%. Let's have a positive outcome then. You failed. Absolutely useless man. Um, I mean, that brings more marble in. Does bring down the food. But uh, we are upgrading our food. So I'm okay with that. The Scions of Xerxes, start working your way. Uh, actually, go into, go into these lands. I don't want you to really build anything yet, but uh, in the case that we do get more money, you'll, you'll be building uh, immortals. 
Build me immortals and an army. I mean, even though we have mortals here, look at these guys. They're so good. So good. I mean, my calves a little beaten. Um, I could actually just remove this one and get a different one, I bet. Yep, yeah, I could just remove it and get a new one. I might do exactly that. There you go. Bit more fresh. Don't need to worry about them then. And we've got elephants here we could buy, but I don't really want them. Uh, and we'll uh, end the turn. Oh yeah, I forgot my spy was moving around. Sneaking around, having a look at stuff. Yeah, it's going to be interesting when we have to go to war with Armenia. They have like a huge empire they're building, or a huge kingdom they're building in the north. Um, and I mean, they're probably bringing in a lot of the money that we still have from their trade. I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll, be, we'll deal with Bactria first. I don't think we could, now that I know the scale of Armenia, I don't think we could deal with Bactria and Armenia simultaneously. Just yet. I think we're not quite strong enough. I think we're getting there. Um, there's always, uh, you should consider, yeah, yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll take it. Faction rises, RDI have ri risen up, okay. I want to know what's going on in Europe. It sounds like Rome's been destroyed, I mean, everyone's having an absolute, like, bit of fun over there. Um, you can't take Farada this turn, it's literally here. It is literally there. Uh, bam, you're doing your bit. You could get an orchard. Um, you could get grain pits. Um, I could do with wine. I could do with having herding or farming. I'm going to go with farming. Uh, why is it so unhappy here? I think it's uh, instability. Faction minus five. Oh, jeez. Are we that strong? Are we that strong? Uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, God. We need to get it down to beloved. We really do. But we have a, a second general turning up, so I mean, he can help put it down. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to move this army on to... Bam. It kind of needs to go there. Especially now that uh, I know that there's a full stack here. I mean, Harmosia probably doesn't want to have whatever's going on here. Yeah, oh yeah, we're building this town guard. I forgot about that. Uh, and then a Koi Ban Patrol House. Yeah, go on, we'll have it. Helps with public order again. Uh, and then Farada is not in the same region. This is Carmenea. Okay, well, we're going to have to get rid of Harmosia at some point. We all we all knew that was coming. Um, Aria over here. I mean, we got rid of our alliance or trade agreement with Parthia. So, I mean, we could just pretend like it never happened. Maybe I can't have one if I don't have a land border? I don't know. I have a feeling that might be the case. Which, if that is the case, that's kind of cool. I do like that little mechanic. Um, but we're going to end the turn again. We're just spamming through the turns at the moment. I do apologise, but uh, I just kind of want to take more lands. And Bactria will feel our wrath as they just st stay in their cities at the moment. They're just not coming out of fight. I mean, they might have now. They might have actually marched, remarched on uh, Harmosia. But now that I know that the Frad is undefended, I hope they've gone, like, the Elven people went back to defend their lands for now. I don't really need them. Here, Farada is mine. Oh my god, this is not... Why is this so strong? Sizen Cav? Flange? I'm just gonna might fight this myself. We might have a battle of our own, on our own hands here. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys in a moment on the battlefield, because it looks like I'm gonna be fighting this myself. It looks like they've got so many pikes and stuff that they're just... I don't know what they're doing really, but yeah, I'll see you on the battlefield in a moment. Hey, so we're back on the battlefield, and uh, well... It looks like they sallied out to meet us in the field. They don't want to uh, go out, like, with a wimp, basically. I'm going to put my uh, main infantry like so, and then I'll have the immortals that can just go where they need to. Uh, and then I think I'm going to have all the skirmish cav on one side. I'm kind of going to go skirmish on one side. I mean, actually, they're doing citizen cav on both. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I won't then. Maybe I'll have a skirmish on this side. And I'll put my general out on this side as well. And then I'm going to go Persian cavalry and a Median. And then I'll go two Median on this side. Actually, you take that one. You take those ones. And then you two, the stronger two, go on this side. And then that should really be it. I mean, my it's a bit of a wonky formation, but that should be enough. And uh, we'll move up ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. 
And I mean, people ask me how you do that, how you just drag your whole formation forward. You just hold Alt and then just drag with your mouse. Oh, and, and left click, obviously. And then just drag with your mouse. Very easy. So, I mean, I was just thinking as we were going, uh, as we were loading in, I was like, well, this is actually even more in my favor now because uh, all I need to do is take out their cavalry, citizen cavalry. Very easy to do with the uh, Median and Persian cavalry. Then uh, they've just got infantry, like these eastern villagers. They're going to be easy to take out. They've got militia hot plates. Again, easy for like Sparbara and Immortals to do. It's just the pikes. Just the pikes we need to worry about. And it's going to have to be a bit cheesy with them. We're just going to have to shoot them uh, when they get close. Uh, we'll put you about there. That should probably activate them. So we'll just fast forward till then. Fast forward. And we'll see what happens. I mean, look, pa balance powers in my favor. They, they know I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win. If I don't win, we've got issues. Um, <laughs> I don't know what we'd, we'd have done wrong. I don't really want to engage my slingers against their slingers. Not because they're better, just because it's a waste. Um, but we'll see what see what happens in a moment. I mean, we're not in range. I might try and actually use the cavalry and try and lure these guys out. Try and lure them out for a bit of a... Actually, let's take the all the cavalry. Because even uh, this cavalry is pretty good. The generals are okay. Let's do the same on this side. Um, let's get skirmish cav. We'll start going around. We'll make our crescent. Like the Saracens. Hundreds of years later. I'm just trying to antagonize this citizen cav and then we can get him behind nice and easy. It's all If we get the cav out, this is a, a nice and easy done. There we go. We've already activated them. They're already turning. They don't like this. Uh, so we'll send, if they're going to reorganize, then we'll send forward the uh, main line. There we go. You better be on uh, skirmish mode yet. Run away. There we go. Right. And then cavalry over here. Get a bit closer. Excellent. Right. There we go. This should be done with. Right, main infantry line come forward to about there. That cavalry's already gone. Citizen cavalry is just awful. It median cavalry should just beat it every single time. Run down them. Their pikes aren't set up properly. Um, I'm not really too fussed about the rest. And now it just kind of gets all panicky. <laughs> now you run for the hills. Now you run for the hills. So. Um, actually. You and you just shoot them. Wherever their phalangites are, I kind of want to carry on shooting them. Pull back. There's phalangites in there. Or pikes. Uh, oh, they actually caught them. Wow. Okay, get out of there. I did tell you to use skirmish mode for once. You absolute useless boys. Uh, oh, they do now have... Uh, Sparbara do now have missile capability. If you hadn't seen in, like, the last uh, multiplayer battle I did, I, like, said, oh, Sparbara are going to get uh, missile capability. Are generals under attack? Who's he going to get attacked by? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he is. He's just standing there. What a mad lad. Get on skirmish mode, you fool. Uh, you're getting attacked by... Oh, he's getting attacked by villagers. Come on. Pull it together, guys. It's not that ba major a deal. Um, you just start shooting all these hoplites. What's this? Uh, phalangites here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Keep just gunning them down. Uh, slingers fall back. <laughs> slingers fall back, please. You were also supposed to be on skirmish mode, you know. And skirmish mode means you run away. There you go. Do your worst. And uh, yeah, it looks like battle is won. It's over already before it's begun, really. Oh, we're losing here in a levy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of that. Did not realize we just charge head on into phalangites. Can you run away as well, please? You know? We'll be healthy for you. You are 
Horse archers being charged by spear uh, by spears, yeah. It's not really good for you. Um, let's wait. Eastern villagers, you could probably charge them and survive that. Citizen cav, uh, let's not actually charge you in there. Mm, no, let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. You fall back as well. Come over here. Come over here. Actually, you could charge us like hotplates. And those phalangites gone. Wow. Uh, charge those villagers. How are they winning? Let's just charge them in the back. There we go. Just charge. Do they, oh, they're running out of ammo. That's why they're in combat. Ah, okay. I just, I was just like, why are you all like deciding to charge in? You mad, you mad people. Um, come over here. Kill these guys. They are healthy as hell. Let's just cut down as many of these guys as possible. Um, let's inspire that unit. Force it not to run. Let's catch all these guys before they can get off the battlefield. That's what I say. And we took minimal losses. Look at that. Only our cavalry really took a lot of damage. And uh, we can probably accept that. Oh my gosh. Does cavalry still die when they charge into the pikes? Nuts. They shouldn't. Can we kill this unit, please? This levy phalangite here is going to get out on... Well, I mean, we don't actually need to fight this, I don't think, because they sallied out. So, I mean, I'm just cutting them down for the sake of it. But uh, we'll just fast forward while they do that. I think that's probably going to be the only unit I really kind of care about. Yeah, 104 is not bad. Yeah, we can stop fighting that. And there we go. Quit battle. End the battle. And uh, we took 267 losses. They lost 1,921. I mean, it was a garrison, so... In fairness, they can afford to take those losses, really. I can't afford to take too many losses. Most of mine is cavalry, so I mean, that's not too bad. My Spar Barra got 234 kills. Nice. Uh, I think they were mainly gunning down villages, though, so I mean, that doesn't really, doesn't really count as kills, let's be honest. Um, killing villages is just a bit easy, but there you go. Chop this man down, we can stay in Farada for a bit, replenish the cavalry. And then we'll move on to Arta Kowona. Arta Kowona up there. Just occupy. And uh, there you go. Uh, we'll turn this into a grain pit. Do I want exotic animals here? I don't know. Camel spears. Persian cavalry. Uh... No, I want to go down and get the uh, get these cataphracts inside chariots. So we'll, we'll carry on down the old heavy horse stud, I think. Unless... Is there anything on the light, light horse stud that's kind of... I mean, armored horse archers would be cool. I would like to get more horse archers. But I want my cataphracts and my chariots, please. Um, 100 in growth. Um, let's go garrison settlement. I'm going to make Farada a garrison settlement. I think that'll be fine. Fine for now, anyway. Uh, it's kind of in a bit of a dicey spot. It's not like in the most securest of spots. Bam is still looking a little bit worse for her, but we're sending this chap over. He can basically help pacify it. And then uh, I'm pretty sure in the north we're okay. We've got a thousand coming in a turn. Uh, a little bit on the... Uh, well, our armies are a little bit expensive, and uh, also I seem to not be able to trade with that many people. And also, well, there's a lot of other reasons. We're at war with a lot of people. Basically. It's not good for the economy. Um, I could do that one. That's pretty useful. Uh, let's go with that one. Second wind. And it brings down a cost of uh, troops. There you go. Alexander out chose you. There you go. On the border. These guys are... Uh... Can we still trade with you? Yeah, we are trading with you currently. That's good. Parthia, can't trade with you. I kind of want to. I think my next push will be the for for will be for Articona, then for Susea, then we'll go for like their heartlands, the Bactrian heartlands over here, these two regions, and I'm just kind of gonna leave Pura to its uh, own devices. I can't really get to it easily, like I'll have to go through their lands, and that's not that isn't really gonna stop me, but I just don't really want it at this point. 
I'm going to see if they can retake it. And if uh, Baxter just hunkers down there, that's also just equally fine with me. Uh, because, well, I don't think they can feed themselves. They've got... They've got... Uh, temples. <laughs> it's just not going to feed you. Um, and there we go. Yeah, we'll uh, put in... I think I'll put in... Actually, I don't know if I really want this now. I'm building, like, food here. And I think I'm building food here, aren't I? Yeah, I'm building food there. I don't really need this. I might destroy that. And then put in gore. I might put in something for the economy, possibly. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll deal with that next turn. Uh, well, and in the next episode, because that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment if you'd like to see more of this campaign. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.